Praise the Lord, saints. My name is Trent Gillum, and it is an honor to spend a few moments in devotion with you today. I'm very excited for this opportunity, and I feel like that we are living in an incredible day of opportunity. I know some of you are thinking, opportunity? Well, Brother Gillum, there's so much going on in the world. That's exactly right. God knew this before, and God is setting up an incredible time for the church. I really believe that we are reaching more people right now than we've ever reached before. The world is ripe and ready for a harvest. And since the world is ready, let's make sure the church is not only ready, but stays ready. So over the past few days, I've had some things that I have really felt on my heart, some things that I feel like God has impressed me upon, upon me, and I would like to share those things with you today, just for a few moments. First, let's go to Psalms chapter 46, Psalms chapter 46 and verse number one. Psalms 46 and one says it like this, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. Now, that is a very familiar scripture. If you've been around the church, you've heard this before. If you're watching this and maybe you've never been to church, let me just give you a few ideas about this scripture. The Bible is being very plain with us because he's telling us that the Lord is going to be ever present with us. Doesn't mean that he's only there during the good times and that he leaves us during the bad times. This text is telling us that he is an ever-present help. So as we talk about that, I want you to think about that. He's a very present help in the time of trouble. So to get a deeper meaning of this, and I admit to you that for years I've read this scripture and I've talked about this scripture, and it's been a great comfort to me. However, as God began to lay this on my heart over the past few weeks, I begin to see this in even a deeper manner. The word present in this text, of course we read it in the King James Version, but in the original text, the word present does not just mean to be there. It doesn't mean to just be with, but it literally means to be accessible, and watch this, ready. Accessible and ready. The Lord is saying, I'm a present help. In other words, I am not only here, but I am accessible. You can get to me. Now, I know that we're thinking right now, but Lord, we're going through so much and our world is dealing with so much. However, God is saying, I want to come and remind you that no matter what you're going through, I will be with you. Doesn't that bring comfort? I want someone to be comforted right now because of those two things. Number one, God is accessible. You can call out to him. You can pray to him. You can reach him in the spirit and he is there to help you. And then number two, he is ready. That is awesome. I love it that we serve a God that we can pray to. He's accessible. We can talk to him. But you know what's even better? It's knowing that not only is he available to us, but he's ready to help us. You know, it's, it's one thing. My, my kids sometimes say, Dad, help me clean up my toys. Dad, help me clean it up. And in my mind, I'm thinking, I didn't make the mess. But the kids are, Dad, I need your help. But sometimes I'll tell my daughter, I'll say, I'm working. I'm studying. I'm getting ready to do a, a, a recording, a video for class. And, and she'll say, but Dad, I, I need your help. But when you get ready for God and you cry out and say, God, I need your help, he says, not only am I here, but I'm ready to work. And right now, some of you are in a place where you need God to move. And I want to encourage you today that that God is ready to work for you. When the lady with the issue of blood reached out and touched him, he was accessible to touch and ready to heal. When blind Bartimaeus cried out to him, the Lord called him. The Lord was accessible and he was ready to heal blind Bartimaeus. When the man was at the pool of Bethesda, 38 long years, when Jesus shows up, 
Not only was Jesus available, remember the man said, I have no man to carry me to the water when it's troubled, when the first end would be healed. He said, I have no man to carry me. But when Jesus was there, now he has a man. And not only does he have someone to help him, but he has someone ready to help him. And Jesus says, rise, take up thy bed and walk. I want to encourage you today in our devotion time to know that the Lord is available right where you are right now. You can call upon him. You can begin to pray to him right now as you begin to call out to him and pray to him. Let it be known you will feel something maybe you hadn't felt before, maybe you hadn't felt in a long time, or maybe you'll feel that familiar touch of God come down and he's saying, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. God's ready. God's ready to take us to the next level, even in this difficult time. God bless you. It's been so good to be with you in devotion today, and I look forward to our next time. Let's pray and talk to God right now and say, Lord, this is what I need. I know you're ready to help me. God bless you in Jesus' name.